All right, everybody. Welcome back to the the channel, Jack Rabbit Thirteen. Today, I want to go over something a little bit different. Um, as everybody can tell, got some things laid out here, and we're gonna go over this today. This here is a blast from the past, right? This thing is old, and I'm not talking old like. I know it looks like it's something out of the early 1900s. This is more along the lines of the late 80s, early 90s era. Um, this is the Cobra FMJ Ducktown Model D. This is chambered in 45 Long Colt or 410. Um, is it, Cobra also came out with a a lot of other things, I, if I'm not mistaken, they had something to do with the, like, Mac 10 or Mac 11. If I'm wrong, somebody please, somebody please uh, attack me in the comments down below, will you? But I think it had something to do with one of those. Um, this is a Derringer, obviously, and this is before the Judge. This is the crazy part. This is way before the Judge. The uh, Judge came out, and everybody's like, oh, my God, she's 410. This apparently was shooting 410s before then, and it's pretty cool. I will show you when you open it. There's a spot here and a spot here. You pull both of those back at once, and it breaks open. It is empty. Um, crude design. Uh, if you look close enough, you'll notice that there's welds right there. I don't know how well you can get that. They're not even smoothed out. That's kind of crazy. Um, goes back. The, uh, you can, now I'll show you this too. Firing pin is always out. So when you're closing this, right, it might go off. So I suggest there is a safety here. So if you cock this back just a little bit, you can push the safety in and see how it keeps the hammer from moving forward there. I'm sorry, the safety's right there. And it keeps the hammer from moving forward. So you would cock it back, load it. Cock it back, hammer's back, and your trigger pull is boom. And then you would open it up and take your shell out. Uh, it's pretty cool. There's a lot of videos out there of these things. Um, I picked this up at the gun store just to throw in a collection. I think it'll look cool on the wall along with the other things I got. Uh, it is pretty cool. You know, and, and I got these out because I just wanted to show you that this is stuff, obviously, I have for my judge. Uh, the older, I use the uh, the strips, speed strips there. But, you know, there's the triple lot buck. Comes in a speed strip. PDX with the discs and the BBs. And obviously the 45 long Colt, if you were to shoot them. And over here I have the Hornady Critical Defense. This comes with the uh, 41 caliber bullet, followed up by two BBs, or two triple-lot bucks, I do believe. Those are pretty nice. Over here I have a uh, case to carry those in. It goes around your belt and you stick those in there. Use them for my judge. Use them for this. I'm going to be doing a video on Derringers. I have a few of them. And I, I think that uh, before I did that, I wanted to go over this one with you. Just show you. Pretty cool. If anybody has any experience with these, let me know. And I think the thumbnail I'm going to use on this is going to be... I let my buddy Matt take this out, and he fired Dragon's Breath through it. And that's going to be the thumbnail on this, just because it's crazy looking out of a out of a derringer it's nuts and it was taken at nighttime pitch black and it just completely lit everything up i took a uh, screenshot of the photo of the video and i'm gonna use that for the thumbnail but if anybody has any information on these let me know comment down below let's let's have, start a discussion on them tell me what kind of holsters you carry what kind of other accessories you might have uh, experience with them or whatever but, hey, like I said, I'm going to make a couple more videos here. Uh, if anybody has any suggestions, 
please comment down below. But I'll see you on the next one.